Keep watching Charis TV. Ah, uh, you can't use this. So you came with who? Who's helping you? With my husband. Where is he? He said that. Don't want any member of Charis to use things like this. I don't wish to see that. You feel pain? Yeah, too much. What is happening to you now? Oh, I feel a very sharp pain at the back. I break that pain. I break that pain. I break that pain. Uh, say, can you tell me what happened to your wife when, why? Uh, she came back from work and she said the leg was not fine. But yesterday when we were about to come for the wedding, the pain was worse. I had to take her to the doctor. So the leg, why they gave her that? They said they wanted to support the leg because she could not move. Look here, sister. Today you are free. You hear me? Uh, yes, they did. You are free. This thing, you'll be able to walk in the name of Jesus. Amen. I stop that pain. Walk now. Walk. In Jesus' name. Walk. Without problem. Walk. Walk. The way she's working is not nice in Jesus' mighty name. Walk. Carry on walking. So let's remove that thing. If we can remove it. You know our Lord Jesus Christ, he has never prayed for a job or a business, isn't it? He healed disease, isn't it? So, remove the shoe. Yeah, we will come in and beat her here at the back three times and she will walk. You can see. One, two, three. Okay. There, it's over. You are free, Ceci. Rise up and walk. You are healed. Walk. As you are walking like this, it will be permanent. Come back, come back. Yeah, yeah, you are becoming permanent. You are becoming permanent. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, that thing is coming out. In Jesus' name. Sister, walk. Come to me. You are falling. This is anointing hitting that thing only. Look here. <laughs> You are free and the healing is permanent. Stand up straight. Straight. Look here. Kick this other leg. Okay? Put it down. Kick another one. All right. Now walk. Let me see how you walk now.
Un sista. Don't cry. Don't cry. God loves you. No one can kill you. Amen. Uh, sister, don't cry. Walk again for the glory of God. Walk, you are free. Run, run, sister. You must never use this thing. You will never use this thing again. In Jesus' name. You are free, sis. Is there anyone also who cannot walk here? I greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ, viewers all over the world. Welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our Sunday life service under the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophetess T. Imagarinisa. Standing with me here today is my sister who was located during the service and who instantly got healed when the Apostle located and spoke upon her life. Ma'am, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Uh, good day. My name is Precious Mabasa. Uh, it started on Friday. I was attending a workshop at work at another hotel. So as I was going to the bathroom, so I stepped, I didn't see that there were stairs going down, down the bathroom because I was on the landing area. Then after that, I just saw myself falling down. So after that, I felt like it was not severe. I thought it's, a, it's just a mere pain. After that, I went home. After going home the following day on Saturday, when we were about to prepare to come to church for a wedding, the leg started being very painful. From there, my husband took me to hospital. From there in the hospital, then they did the scans and everything. They find out, uh, the after that, I find the doctors find out the ankle was injured. Okay, they prescribed that I must have this and two crunches. Then I thank God as I was coming to give, then Apostle saw me that I was having this. Then he said, I cannot have this as a Christian. So I thank God for the healing. Because when he was praying for me, I was so shocked. God, I, couldn't, I couldn't step on the ground because it was so painful. And I was using both crunches and this boot. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And ma'am, how do you feel that today the Apostle located you, ministered upon your life, prayed for you, and you instantly got healed? Yes, I instantly got healed. Thank you, Jesus. I feel healed. I couldn't step, but after he prayed for me, now I'm able to step my feet. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, what, slow. Can you see how she's walking? What happened to you? Huh? I fell in the morning. At home? Yes. Let me see how you walk. You walk like that. Lift your right hand. Stop there. Say I can walk. And I'm free. Lift up your one leg up. Up, up. Put it down. Another one up. That's where there's a pain, isn't it? Eh? It's here. I'm even swelling. You're even swelling? Yes. Okay. Go. Go back there. Go. Go. Stop there. In Jesus' name. You are free. You are free. I stop that pain. In Jesus' name. Rise up and walk. You are free. You, you walk nicely. You really walk nicely. The devil is defeated. Walk. Walk now. Uh -huh. There is no way, uh, you are running, run. Jump up, jump. Amen. It's free. And with me here today is my sister who was located during the service, who instantly got healed after prayer, ma'am. Can you please tell us your name and tell us where you come from? Uh, I greet you all in the name of Jesus. Uh, my name is Samisha Bambu. I come from Pretoria. Today during the service, the Apostle located you and spoke to you. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Okay. Um, he was praying for people who were unable to walk. So right after uh, delivering another sister, he asked is if there's any other person who is unable to walk. So I came out because I was unable to walk since I fell in the morning, this morning. 
So as the service was going on, I had severe pains and my leg was starting to swell. So I came out and he prayed for me and I got instant healing. Yes. And how do you feel that the apostle located you and prayed for you when you, got, you were instantly healed? Okay, uh, it is a great honor, to be honest, because um, I believe this was a plan of the devil. So um, I'm grateful because I believe uh, the plan of the enemy has failed, uh, that the enemy is defeated. Yes. <laughs> Mama, you are going to walk without that. Stop there, Mama. In Jesus' name. Put the crunches down. Put the crunch down. Can you try to try first? Mama, lift one leg up. Permission neutrality. In the name of Jesus, put your leg up. One leg. Permission neutrality. Which language Mama speaks? Eh? Oh, kaba takusemu ni jo muti. Kaba takusemu. Maso mo chimbi. Kaba takusemu ni jo muti. Kaba takusemu ti ba wisenta. Gatina la Yesu. Bachi takura gatina la Yesu. Amen. Gatina la Yesu Chris. Gatina la Yesu. Amen. Kaba takusemu mwe. Gatina la Yesu Chris. Amen. Gatina la Yesu kaba bepas. Mtu mwa ne. And we will run them. We are going to take some energy for two minutes. Interpret what I'm saying, Mama. It's an older person. She cannot lift up her leg for two minutes. She's our mother. Yes. Amen. Kava chimbire wo fora. Walk. You are healed. Kava chimbire. Baso baso ngote me na chanda. Eh, bako chimbira. Hey man. Bako chim bako giti, Mama. Ma, please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Today during the service, the apostle called you and ministered upon your life. Please tell us what happened. And it didn't want a range at Kuruchimbira. And we are far now, peace and no tava. Mama says she has a problem with her leg. Um, it's been swollen and she has piercing pains in it. Um, Zotomarini? A November. Wokoso Baba. Wokoso Baba, Wokoso Tomo Baba, Wamu de Tomo Zimba. The pain started in, in November where my leg was just painful and it started swelling up up until today. She said she further went to go consult with the doctor and she was diagnosed with arthritis. She says she's currently on medication but it doesn't really help because she would constantly still feel the pains. After the apostle, she says after the apostle called her to the front for prayer, she was then able to walk um, and not even use the crutch that she came to the front with. And she was able to also then move back um, or rather just go back to where she was sitting without uh, any assistant of the crutch. Um, she says she feels a lot better because she was also able to move from where she was sitting to come and do this interview.